All right, guys, so we're going to find the center of this circle using Thales' theorem. Thales' theorem tells us that if we pick any point on a circle and draw it back to the diameter of a circle, draw it back to the two ends of the diameter, then the angle subtended at the point will be 90 degrees. So we're going to use a variation on that. We're going to use our set square, which has a 90 degree angle right here, and we're going to place that at the edge of the circle. Now we know that where this line comes back and intersects the circle, we'll draw a line back here, and draw a line back here. Continue this line on. These two points right here and right here represents the end of a diameter of the circle. So if I join them, then I have the diameter right there. So we know, as this is a diameter, that the center of the circle, the center point, must lie on this line somewhere. To find exactly where it lies, we will simply use Thales' theorem again. We'll place my 90 degree angle right on the edge of my circle. I will draw a line back here, mark this point right here. In a similar way, I'll draw a line back here, and mark this point right here. One point, two points, I can simply join them together. And I have another diameter. This is a diameter, this is a diameter. Where those two diameters intersect must be my center point C. That's it. That's how we use Thales' theorem to find the center of a circle. Thank you very much.